What's up, sports bettors? Alex here, and I'm going to be taking you through a few of my favorite MLB bets for today. So again, we're going to be looking at the Odds Jam positive expected value tool. And the way that this tool works is pretty simple, right? It's just constantly scanning sports books, updating millions of odds from a variety of bookmakers in real time to find data-driven sharp bets. So I'll actually start out with the bet that I like the least, but I am playing it because I like the profit margin. And it's the Marlins plus half on the first half run line against the Dodgers at minus 122 odds, right? So the way that every sports book makes money is by charging the VIG or charging juice. So what Odds Jam does is it scans all of the sports book lines, compares them to one another, and shows you the biggest outliers. So for example, here we can see Marlins on the first half run line plus half of a run at minus 122. No other sports book is giving us better than minus 139 odds right? So this is a ridiculously big line discrepancy, and you can see it as a 1.26% profit margin. So this bet is mathematically profitable, right? And if a 1.26% profit margin doesn't sound particularly great, like another thing to remember is this game is going to be over in like six hours. So in a fourth of a day, you're earning a 1.25% return on capital. That's not particularly bad. Right. And you can see just looking at, you know, the odds on all other sports books, it's pretty clear that FanDuel's slipping up here, right? They're giving you way too good of a price on the Marlins first half run line. So either every other sports book is wrong and they're giving you way too bad of odds on the Marlins first half run line, or FanDuel's giving you a price that has a positive expected return. Right? So of course FanDuel's the outlier here, and this is a very sharp, profitable bet you want to be on. So I locked it in, as you can see, right here. So let's go right here. So Marlins first half run line, 600 bucks, minus 122 odds. Now the second play I have, which I also really like, is the Arizona Diamondbacks for St. Louis Cardinals nerfy. No runs first inning, right? Once again, FanDuel's slipping up. Every other sports book has the under heavily juiced for the nerfy. FanDuel has this at minus 113. So this bet has a 4.15% profit margin. You can see I locked it in right here. 225 was the maximum wager that FanDuel let me bet. So we have 225 bucks, 4.15% profit margin, 934 in EV, right? So the way that odds jam works and how it makes you money is it just scans these markets, looks for the biggest line discrepancies, which are mathematically profitable bets that outweigh the VIG. And your goal as a sports better is you know, I recommend keeping these filters on is placing as many bets as you can on a daily basis, you know, essentially forming your own like hedge fund portfolio of mathematically profitable sharp bets where you have an edge over the sports book and just see what your profit is after 250 bets. I think you'll be amazed. You're going to be up a lot of money and you can do that all during the free trial, you know, of odds jam, just place as many bets as you can. Right. And the power of odds jam isn't that this bet is a guaranteed winner or some crazy long shot parlay. That's not the way that Odds Jam works, right? Odds Jam makes you money by giving you consistent returns week over week of let's say five, six, seven, eight percent. And then seeing those returns over the course of the long run compound and compound and compound is really powerful. And that's how you actually make a lot of money sports betting without really gambling, right? You're more investing, you're finding bets with an edge and you're hitting them. You're less so betting on sports, hoping for these massive victories that never happen in reality or happen very rarely that, you know, the media likes to market. So the the final bet I have is Orioles Red Sox. I'm on the Red Sox team total plus 120. Once again, pretty high profit margin, 4%. So we're getting half the return of the stock market in less than 12 hours. Seems pretty good. And you can see right here, you know, Caesars is giving us plus 120. So we're getting a ton of value in the odds. I locked this bet in for 500 bucks, as you can see right here, 4.03% profit margin. So our bet has $20 in profit margin. And again, like I say this all the time, but you can see, you know, some of my previous bets here. It's like, you know, go on some losing streaks, go on some winning streaks, like you can see right here. 
um, winning streak, winning streak, winning streak, and just like a lot of bets. And, you know, you'll lose sometimes a few bets in a row. That's just variance. But over the course of the long run, if you're placing bets with an edge, as you can kind of just see as I scroll through all my bets, you know, you're going to make money, right? You're going to make money. And not every week's going to be a winner. But when you have the edge over the sports book, you're guaranteed to make money, you know, in the long run due to the law of large numbers. So three bets today. We got the Marlins first half run line on FanDuel. We got the Nerfie and Cardinals Diamondbacks. And then we have the Red Sox uh, team total. I also bet the full game total for the game, but um, that, that, that was previously before I was making a video. So I won't include that here. And um, three bets. Let's make some money.